Okay, good afternoon AutoCAD students. Um, what we're going to talk about today is we are going to add some multi-line text to our little rectangle drawing. Um, this will be number seven in this set of tutorials and I'm Chris Dennis and let's get started with some multi-line text. Okay, multi-line text. Um, up here on the ribbon you'll notice that you have an icon that has a large A and underneath there is the word text with an arrow and so if we pick on that you'll notice that this has two choices we have multi-line text which is currently at the top and we have single line text so we're gonna go ahead with multi-line text and the command line if we look down here says to specify first corner so I'm gonna pick the beginning of a window because it's asking me now to specify the opposite corner and that window is going to be the width of my paragraph text so you can see that's about the width of what I picked there okay so now while I'm in this window uh, where this blinking um, line is is where I can actually just start typing my text and every time I do an enter the enter brings me down to the next line. So if you'll notice when I'm finished, um, as with most commands, enter will execute the command. But in this case, uh, enter and backspace is still part of the multi-line editor. So to get out of this text editor I need to pick outside of the box with my mouse or I can do control enter which I personally like on the keyboard so I just did a control enter and that exited the multi-line text editor okay now if I made a mistake or I want to change something about this all I have to do is double click on the text so I do a double click and notice I'm back in the text editor so at this point I can make a correction like add my middle initial or I can change things like the text height now if I want to do a big change like the text height um, all of this text has to be selected or highlighted okay so now with everything selected and highlighted I can come up here to where my text height button is and I can pick a height from the list or I can actually type in a height that I like for instance 0.125 and notice because that text was highlighted it changed okay um, another thing I can do while it's highlighted is change its justification so up here I can pick center justified and now the text is center justified within the editor Okay, so now that I'm done, I'm just going to pick outside of this box, and there's my multi-line text. Okay, uh, if you want to move the position of the text, you can grip the text and make a second pick on this blue grip, and you can actually move the text around that way. Okay, so I'm just going to pick to place it and I'm going to escape to get rid of my grips and there you have some multi-line text on your drawing inside of the rectangle. I hope that's helpful and give that a try. Practice with multi-line text, practice editing text and until the next tutorial uh, I hope you get some time to work on that.